All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. The name of the video is uh, James Webb Telescope just sent back terrifying new images uh, we haven't seen. Let's check it out. We physicists have waited a hundred years since 1916 for this photograph. The James Webb Space Telescope is presently what the is most it? powerful observatory ever created. Right. And it's just sent a transmission back to Earth that has left the entire scientific community stunned. This astonishing new image, captured by Webb's state-of-the-art instruments, reveals a celestial phenomenon unlike anything we have witnessed before. It defies our current understanding of the universe. As the scientific community scrambles to decipher its meaning, question- I mean, guys, based off the images, it looks like some type of black hole, supermassive black hole. I'm down for it. Questions are fast arising. Are we alone in the universe? What secrets does this image hold? And what does it mean for the future of humanity? Join us as we explore the mysteries behind this new image sent to Earth by the JWST, as right, this could possibly be the greatest scientific revelation of our time. Let's go make it a little bit bigger, guys. The James Webb Telescope has been a source of excitement for scientists and astronomers since its launch. Despite being only still in its third year of service, it's already observed various aspects of our vast universe and uncovering new phenomena. Since reaching its cosmic destination, its infrared observatory has offered scientists and astronomers breathtaking views of the cosmos. And as the largest and most powerful space telescope ever built, researchers eagerly awaited the first scientific images captured by the telescope. And we were all blown away, guys. Like, not just researchers, like us plebs that just follow this generally, right? We were all absolutely waiting for these first images to come, guys. And what did we get? Absolutely mind-blowing images. However, its recent image has left the scientific community in shock and silence. This jaw-dropping discovery was made by the JWST after it turned its instruments towards the iconic Pillars of Creation located approximately 7,000 light years away in the constellation Serpens. What it has uncovered in this mysterious location has since left scientists awestruck. The pillars of creation are part of the Eagle Nebula, large clouds of gas and dust that were initially photographed by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995. However, the James Webb Telescope's new photograph revealed even more astonishing details. Stars that were previously unseen in the Hubble image sparkled in the image, some having formed just a few hundred thousand years ago. This discovery marked a significant scientific breakthrough. Yet, as scientists marveled at these extraordinary findings, a thought crossed their minds. What if these structures were actually created by intelligent extraterrestrial beings? Could they be alien landmarks? Could the possibility be. of such a revelation sent shivers down their spines. Like, I've never heard that theory, but, I mean, it absolutely could be. But the JWS wasn't about to rest on its heels just yet. In another captivating image, the James Webb Space Telescope turned its attention to Pandora's Cluster, a region of space with a fascinating history and is named after the mythological figure from Greek mythology, Pandora. Known for her inquisitiveness, She's believed to have opened a container that released all the evils and hardships into the world. However, Webb's exploration of Pandora's cluster did not unleash any evils. Instead, it focused on a specific area of space using a theory proposed by Albert Einstein in 1915, resulting in a stunning image that astonished scientists. This new image of Pandora's cluster, previously known as Abel 2744, okay. revealed unseen details in the region. While the Hubble Space Telescope had only studied the central core of this space, the James Webb Telescope's infrared instruments exposed a wealth of hidden secrets waiting to be unraveled. The team of scientists working on the JWS soon realized that they were on an extraordinary observation mission. So, using Webb's large telescope's near-infrared spectrograph and near-infrared camera, they conducted a series of meticulous observations as part of the ultra-deep near-spec near-cam observations for the Epic of Reionization program. To capture a comprehensive view of Pandora's cluster, the team applied the JWST in taking four snapshots of the area and skillfully stitched them together, resulting in a breathtaking panoramic image. This remarkable image showcased an astonishing 50,000 sources emitting infrared light. 
It unveiled the true essence of Pandora's cluster, located an astounding 3.5 billion light years away. This panoramic image provided a deep and expansive perspective that could potentially revolutionize our understanding of galactic evolution. Embedded within this captivating image was a brilliant foreground star from our own Milky Way. The star exhibited unique diffraction spikes, a mesmerizing pattern created by the James Webb Telescope itself. Within this captivating scene, clusters of luminous white light shimmered, surrounded by an ethereal haze. These were the distant galaxies of Pandora's cluster, much farther away than the foreground star. While our highly advanced technology played a crucial role in capturing this stunning celestial sight, astronomers also relied on a natural phenomenon proposed by Albert Einstein in his groundbreaking 1915 work on general relativity. This theory of gravity, known as general relativity, played a vital role in unraveling the mysteries of the observed cluster of clusters. But this was only just the beginning. Beyond the awe-inspiring discovery, the James Webb Telescope encountered another perplexing phenomenon almost right after. This one... Bro, it's going to continue finding things that we just can't explain. I mean, that's why we sent it up there, guys. That's why we replaced um, Hubble. Hubble couldn't do it any longer, guys. Uh, don't get me wrong. Hubble, absolutely amazing. We're not going to throw any slander on Hubble, right? But... We built James Webb for a reason, and that was to absolutely find uh, brand new things that we could not explain. I guess we were bored. Likewise defies every scientific explanation scientists could think of. It discovered yet another intriguing image that clearly depicted a series of mysterious and concentric rings encircling a distant star. What is that? Since this image arrived here on Earth, scientists from every corner of the world have been left puzzled. This enigmatic image was shared on Twitter by a citizen scientist named Judy Schmidt, swiftly igniting a flurry of comments and bewilderment within the online community. I mean, well, guys, listen, so I'm a photographer, right? I've been a photographer for over two decades. Uh, whenever I see something like that, an image like that, it looks like there may have been some type of long exposure going on. Uh, there was obviously movement within the frame um, and then a light source out of nowhere came and it was basically pretty static for a while um, while creating some type of movement based off of those ripples. Um, I cannot explain it, but again, uh, my overall opinion in, is that it probably was some type of long exposure shot and then someone basically shined a flashlight, right? That's where I'm at. <laughs> the featured star, known as WR140, stood surrounded by regular ripple-like circles that gradually dissipated into the cosmic abyss. However, what seized the most attention really in weird. the image really was weird. the fact that the circles did not exhibit perfect roundness. Okay. Instead, they were somewhat square-like, stirring theories and speculations about potential alien origins. Like Schmidt, scientists and astronomers all over the world soon found themselves contemplating the peculiar shape and regularity of the rings. Before long, another space expert, Mark McCory, who also happens to be an interdisciplinary scientist in the JWST Science Working Group and a science advisor to the European Space Agency, referred to the feature as bonkers in a Twitter thread. But further investigation revealed that the six-pointed blue structure was an artifact resulting from optical diffraction caused by the bright star, WR100... Guys. 40. Additionally, a series of shells could be seen around this star via Webb's mirror imaging. These shells, which appeared as red, curvy, and boxy structures, took astronomers by surprise. Typically, young stars shine brightly in a vibrant blue hue. Mm -hmm. However, as stars age, they undergo changes and develop a redder glow as they consume their fuel and cool down. The deep fields observed by Webb displayed reddish dots that were 50 times more massive than galaxies previously known. Surprisingly, these galaxies were estimated to be as massive as our own Milky Way when the universe was only 3% of its current age. All right, guys, so that gigantic burst of light, I called it a flashlight. It's obviously not a flashlight, right? But um, yeah, that could be a star, in fact, exploding, right? That can produce that amount of light uh, and most likely shockwave also. So what we just witnessed on some type of long exposure 
shot, right? Maybe a couple of seconds or so. Uh, maybe a 20 second exposure can easily capture something like that if it's fast enough and bright enough and stays pretty much consistent. Um, those box like structures um, could easily be some type of shockwave, right? That light. He just explained it. Leia, one of the astronomers studying these findings, right, expressed her amazement at the discovery. In her opinion, these massive galaxies challenged existing theories about cosmology as they formed rapidly after the Big Bang. But before completely rewriting the theories, astronomers needed to ensure that the red dots they observed were genuinely galaxies and not something else entirely. Considering alternative explanations, Leia speculated that stars in the early universe might emit light in unusual ways due to the lack of heavy elements. Incorporating these factors into their models could revolutionize our understanding of star formation in the early universe. These possibilities have greatly excited astronomers, as they would provide new insights into how stars are born. The images were captured using Webb's near-infrared camera as part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Program, Astronomers plan to focus the telescope's mirror on these galaxies again in the near future, but this time, it'll be to obtain light spectra. The experts at NASA believe that the spectra would help reveal the light source's chemical composition and physical properties. It's also expected that these spectra would play a crucial role in determining the precise distances to objects in space, which in turn will provide essential information about their identities. But here's what's even more fascinating. Just over six months after the release of the initial observations from the Webb telescope, scientists found themselves compelled to revise their theories about the early universe. But as it did turn out, the JWST was actually on the cusp of another remarkable discovery. Peering further into the image, scientists found what appeared to be a swirling wormhole within a mesmerizing phantom galaxy. This fresh image okay. showcased the enigmatic glow of the phantom galaxy, also known as NGC 628 or Messier wormhole. 74. Renowned astronomer Judy Schmidt meticulously crafted this eerie image using Webb's mid-infrared instrument, which okay. is stationed almost a million miles away from Earth. The magnified image brings attention to the intricate dust lanes within the galaxy, which have earned it the nickname the Perfect Spiral due to its exceptional symmetry. All right, so what we're looking at is what exactly? Um, could this be the other side of the black hole? Like the theoretical other side of the black hole. Is this the white hole? Um, and oh God, I'm, trying, I'm sitting here trying to quantify this. This doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> um, maybe it's the white hole, okay? And just like the black hole it has all the you know, all the light blocking things, but this one here emits light because it's on the opposite side, so it's white, right? Um, and the wormhole maybe is just a spiral they're referring to, or is the does, or does the wormhole connect the black hole to the white hole? <laughs> because my theories are all over the place. However, the true scientific intrigue lies in the presence of an intermediate mass black hole believed to be nestled at the heart of this celestial wonder. However, this galaxy has been the subject of professional imaging in the past, including by esteemed space observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope and the Wide Field Infrared Server Explorer. Okay. But Webb's imagery clearly stands out due to its unique focus on the mid-infrared range and how it effectively highlights the cosmic dust present within it. Astronomers at NASA have attributed the extensive detail in this image to Webb's unparalleled power especially given its extraordinary 18-segment hexagonal mirror and strategic position in deep space. And while scientists were still working on unraveling the mysteries that might lay hidden within the phantom galaxy, the James Webb Space Telescope observed yet another extraordinary phenomenon. There's more? <laughs> this time, deep field images were obtained during its initial observation campaign. Webb uncovered enormous distant galaxies that defied our expectations. These galaxies, nearly as massive as our own Milky Way, were filled with mature red stars and scattered across the cosmos. However, their immense distance rendered them visible to the telescope only as tiny reddish dots. By scrutinizing the light emitted by these galaxies, astronomers concluded that they were observing the universe in its infancy, 
a mere 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Now, the existence of such early galaxies is not surprising, especially as astronomers anticipated the formation of the first star clusters shortly after the universe emerged from its dark ages. A period keep in mind, shortly is, you know, subjective. Here. ...characterized by a dense fog of hydrogen atoms. However, the size and age of the galaxies discovered in the web images have caused a stir among scientists. These findings contradict existing notions about the appearance and evolution of the early universe and defy previous observations made by the less potent Hubble Space Telescope. Hey, hey, no Hubble slander around here. Joe Layer, an esteemed professor of astronomy and astrophysics at Penn State, explained that the team had expected to find young and small baby galaxies in the early universe based on previous studies conducted with the Hubble and right, other that, instruments. That was a guarantee. These baby though. galaxies are newly formed entities arising from the primordial cosmic soup, diligently constructing their initial stars and structures. The unexpected revelation of larger, more mature galaxies challenges our preconceived notions and opens up exciting new avenues for research. This captivating image captured by the JWST showcases the remarkable process of star formation during the universe's early days. The fiery and dynamic nature of this celestial phenomenon has continued to leave scientists and astronomers in awe of the cosmic wonders that continue to unravel before their very eyes. Like with these stars themselves, the JWST likewise captured another stunning image of a cosmic hourglass surrounding a young star in the Taurus star-forming region. A dense cloud of gas and dust called L1527 has hidden this magnificent yeah, guys, we need a new name for that. scene from regular telescopes. Only visible in infrared light, the cosmic hourglass became an exciting target for the near-infrared camera on Webb. Astronomers continue to be perplexed by this discovery, but they view it as an opportunity for further research. They hope studying the cosmic hourglass will provide insights into the processes around the hidden protostar. The observations may also shed light on how young stars mature into adulthood. The Space Telescope Science Institute in Maryland, which operates the JWST, expressed that this is a significant breakthrough for the scientific community. Moreover, the JWST has also recently provided scientists with the best view of Neptune's rings and moons in 32 years. Previous telescopes had not conveyed as much information as the JWST did with its latest image. Yeah, guys, and a lot of the times when it comes to ringed planets, um, like it's nearly impossible to get like a terrestrial image of these ringed planets. Um, the only real way to do it is through video, right? So you'll need to get like a super terrible camera, basically, um, <laughs> and they connect it to the telescope itself, um, train it onto that, that planet, and then just catch a video, and then you'll get a screen capture of the actual video itself, a grab of one of the frames. Um, and then you will say, I got a photo of Saturn today. It's a terrible image, bro, but, but that's how you can really uh, successfully get a solid image of a ringed planet from Earth. For the first time since the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew past Neptune on its way out of the solar system in 1989, researchers can observe the faint, dusty bands of Neptune's icy rings. Heidi Hamill, a planetary scientist at the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy, expressed her excitement about seeing these features in infrared for the first time. What astonished scientists even more was the discovery of additional rings around Neptune that had never been seen before. Even Voyager 2's close-up visit to the planet didn't reveal these faint dust rings. The JWST's image unveiled previously unknown rings, expanding our understanding of Neptune's ring system. In contrast to the characteristic blue color associated with Neptune, the image captured by the JWST didn't showcase this hue. Right, the absence of blue was intentional, as the JWST observed Neptune in near-infrared light. Methane present in Neptune's atmosphere what is sphere absorbs light here? strongly at these wavelengths, causing the planet to appear somewhat dark to the JWST, except for the areas covered by bright high-altitude clouds. Another remarkable feature in the JWST's image of Neptune was a series of bright patches in the planet's southern hemisphere. 
These patches represent high-altitude clouds that reflect sunlight before the methane in the clouds absorbs it. This okay. image captured by Webb likewise revealed fascinating and never-seen-before details about Neptune. It displayed a distinct band of clouds at high latitudes encircling a well-known vortex in Neptune's atmosphere. Additionally, a faint line of brightness encircled the planet's equator, providing a glimpse into the global circulation of Neptune's atmosphere, driving its winds and storms across the icy giant. Despite being positioned almost 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth, the JWST managed to detect an intriguing brightness near Neptune's northern pole. This was surprising because at this point in Neptune's orbit around the Sun, its northern pole was just out of view from the JWST's perspective. This finding demonstrated the telescope's remarkable capabilities. The JWST's images also offered a glimpse of seven of Neptune's moons, with a special focus on Triton, the largest moon. Triton appeared as a bright point of light, standing out against Neptune's dark methane atmosphere. Its brightness was due to a frozen layer of condensed nitrogen covering its surface, causing it to reflect approximately 70% of the sunlight it receives. Triton orbits Neptune at a distance 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth, making it a relatively close celestial neighbor. Although Neptune might seem distant, it is just a cosmic stone's throw away when compared to the stars and galaxies billions of light years away Absolutely. that the JWST is designed to observe. Mm -hmm. This underscores the telescope's purpose to explore the far reaches of the universe while still providing valuable insights into our own solar system. In addition to Neptune, the JWST also captured a mind-boggling image of the Tarantula Nebula. The telescope revealed thousands of young stars within this stellar nursery using its high-resolution infrared instruments. These stars had never been seen before, astounding scientists. Furthermore, the JWST's remarkable efficiency enabled it to detect gas, dust, and even distant background galaxies within the nebula. The intricate details unveiled by the telescope depicted the Tarantula Nebula, also known as 30 Doradus, as resemblance a burrowing tarantula's lair lined with silk. Located 161,000 light-years away in the large Magellanic Cloud, it is the brightest star-forming region closest to our Milky Way, captivating astronomers who seek to understand the process of star formation. But more interestingly, Webb's observations of Titan, one of Saturn's peculiar moons, provided astonishing results. With its Earth-like characteristics, Titan features a landscape composed of icy land masses and rivers and seas filled with liquid methane and hydrocarbons. The moon's atmosphere okay, so we can't drink it. Fear is hazy and thick, adorned with methane clouds. The JWS managed to observe two of these methane clouds, surprising scientists with its findings. Numerous scientists have since come forth to express their fascination with the intriguing glimpses of bright and dark areas on Titan's surface. In another groundbreaking effort, Connor Nixon, an astronomer at the Goddard Space Flight Center in Maryland, made arrangements for the JWST to dedicate 15 hours during its first year to study Titan. Nixon's team specifically wanted to investigate Titan's atmosphere to map the distribution of haze and discover new gases. Additionally, they had other objectives in mind. When the scientists received the data sent by JWST, they were overjoyed. Upon initial examination, the findings were simply extraordinary. As they delved deeper into the data, the researchers identified not just one, but two clouds. Intriguingly, one of the clouds was located above Kraken Mare, the like permanent clouds? largest of Titan's seas. Excited by these discoveries, the team wanted to monitor the clouds and understand how they evolved. But these scientists are not finished exploring the observations yet. They've identified the clouds in images captured by JWST's near-infrared camera, allowing them to separate Same. Titan's lower atmosphere. They still have more data to evaluate from the camera and another instrument called the Near Infrared Spectrograph. This spectrograph measures the number of different wavelengths of light reflected off Titan's atmosphere, aiding in mapping the presence of various compounds, including a particularly bright spot over the moon's south pole. The JWS is now scheduled to focus its attention on Titan again in June of 2023. This time, 
It will employ its mid-infrared instrument to refine further scientists' understanding of the chemical makeup of Titan's unique and hazy atmosphere. The James Webb Telescope has absolutely amazed us with its mind-blowing pictures, and scientists are convinced that this incredible telescope holds the potential to uncover a plethora of new and exciting discoveries in the vast expanse of space. As we delve deeper into the cosmos, the James Webb Telescope promises to unveil mysteries that have eluded us for centuries, opening doors to realms of knowledge that have remained hidden until now. Guys, I have been absolutely obsessed with James Webb since I heard that James Webb was taking over the Hubble. Uh, now, if the Hubble was able to give us this much data for as long as we can basically remember, right? I would say, um, the, what do you think the James Webb is going to be able to give us? What's going to be the next iteration from James Webb? How can the technology get better uh, to the point where we can, in fact, uh, get even better images of these nebula or nebulae? Guys, right? uh, because the images that are being given to us consistently are absolutely amazing. And honestly, I was scared to watch this video for a second. Uh, you know, because sometimes you guys send me things from, you know, from this channel, and I'm just like, you know what? I don't know. Right? I don't know if, if this is going to be a good one or not. Yeah, this is a good one, guys. We're actually getting facts. The question are actually, you know, the questions are actually being answered. Um, and we're also being shown um, things that I've never seen before. I've never seen um, these things at all. Uh, these images are brand new for me. And it's crazy because I literally regularly uh, uh, check the James Webb um, mission log, basically. Pretty, pretty regularly, guys. Right? Um, but all right. Listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy your day thoroughly. Guys, before we go, are you guys subscribed to the other channels? Logical Movie Reviews with Mr. L. Boyd along with Mr. L. Boyd Music. Both are found in the description. Check it out. <laughs>